The story starts with Daryl working as an assistant to the four generals of the demon army. One day he was suddenly fired from the demon army by the demon generals because he can't cast magic spells. Because humans and demons look alike, it's just that demons can do magic. So Daryl said goodbye to his friend Rizet and left the demon army. Daryl has been working for the demon army since he was born and as a 32 years old man, he didn't know how he could change his life. Lost in thought, a girl suddenly appeared and a monster was after the girl. Daryl couldn't let her die and tried to stop the monster. Unfortunately, Daryl was too hungry to fight and was overwhelmed by the monster. As Daryl laid on the ground, he saw a knife and took his chance to stab the monster with the knife. So Daryl defeated the monster and the girl Malika thanked Daryl. When Daryl wanted to leave, the girl tried to stop him because she wanted to cook a meal for him. So Malika dragged him to her house and introduced him to her parents. After that, Malika and Daryl introduced each other and Daryl got scared since he is in a human village that was actually his enemy territory. So he hid his previous life in the demon army and told them that he was fired from a normal company. Listening to this made Malika sad, because she thinks it's not fair to fire a nice guy like Daryl. So Malika offered to let him stay with her. He didn't want it first, but Malika convinced him to stay in their house and he accepted her offer. The next day, Daryl found out that Malika's father is the guildmaster in Lux Village, and her father wanted to make Daryl to an adventurer. Unfortunately, demons cannot become adventurers, so Daryl tried to keep his secret, but Malika and her father tricked Daryl. Then Daryl got an adventurer's pact that gave him new skills. When the pact was made, Daryl was really confused as he always thought he was a demon and couldn't believe that he was the whole time a human. Then Daryl was taught the powers of an adventurer, usable through her aura. The aura comes in four types, hit, slash, sting and protect. That's how they tried to find Daryl's type and first he tested the slash type. However, he cut a big tree into a half. After that he tested sting and he not only shot through the apple, but also through trees with an explosion. As he tested hit, Malika's father was only horrified by his power that his pride was hurt. So the guildmaster unpacked an hammer of steel to attack Daryl and he managed to fend off the hammer with just a small wooden shield. So it turned out that Daryl has a perfect aura of all types. The guildmaster didn't want to be selfish since Daryl is an overpowered adventurer and wanted to give him a letter of recommendation to the guild in the capital. Daryl considered the offer, but when Malika started crying, Daryl declined the offer. As he likes to live in Lux Village with Malika and her family who were so kind to him. That made Malika happy and that's how Daryl's life in the village of Lux began. Later on he met the villagers and the D-rank adventurer Gashida, who looked down on Daryl as he is a higher rank than Daryl. He was also the only adventurer in Lux village. After that, Daryl wanted to choose a quest, and it turned out that he had already completed a difficult quest. Because the quest was to hunt a big monkey, which Daryl defeated while rescuing Malika. So the monster was killed earlier by Daryl and he unintentionally completed Goshita's quest. However his pride was hurt and Goshita was chosen a new quest to kill a giant ant. Then Daryl was promoted to D rank. When Daryl wanted to collect medicinal herbs, Malika asked him to accompany him. So Malika helped him with his quest and showed him where to find medicinal herbs. Through Malika he learned a lot of new things, which made him very happy. Because she showed him which medicinal herbs are the right ones. When she wanted to show them the right medicinal herbs, she simply lifted a huge tree trunk. Daryl then asked her why she didn't defeat the monster before by herself and she replied that although she is strong, she is afraid of fighting. After that, Daryl was hugged by her and her inhuman strength almost broke Daryl's ribs. Luckily a deer appeared, which distracted them. The deer jumped over her into a bush and defeated a giant ant, while Malika decided to defeat the deer and the ant and prepare them for dinner. All of the villagers were impressed by them, and it turned out that taking down the giant ant was part of Gashida's quest. So Daryl unintentionally finished his quest again. So Daryl lived in the village and slowly settled in. In the following days, when Daryl was back from collecting medicinal herbs, he met an angry Gashida and the cute Malika received him warmly. Then Daryl found out about a quest about the monster Blaze Deathscythe, because the monster is being hunted by a larger guild and the monster might be escaping to the village of Lux. Since Gashida saw the emergency quest and went hunting it himself, the guild master was worried about him. So Daryl decided to bring his fellow adventurer back safely. When he was in the forest, the screaming Gashida ran away from the monster while trying to kill the monster with arrows. The monster took no damage and attacked Gashida, but Daryl managed to protect him and wound the monster. 
Then he got angry and his sword broke when defending himself. So Dariel used his broken sword and threw his broken sword blade like a shuriken at the monster. He finished off the monster that he immediately died. After that, he healed the injured Gashita who was poisoned by the monster and saved his life. After that day, Gashita respected him and called Dariel his big brother. He was so grateful for the rescue that he really wanted to spend time with him. But Malika wouldn't allow it and tried to send Gashita home. Meanwhile, Dariel wondered if the four generals of the demon army were still fighting against the heroes. So you saw how Zebi and one of the generals lost against the group of heroes and all the other generals only experience problems since Dariel is no longer there. All them wanted to get Dariel back, but Bashveza, who hated Dariel, threw a tantrum at hearing Dariel's name. In the followed day Dariel returning from a quest and immediately being hugged by Malika, who can't control her powers. So Dariel is badly injured and Malika brings the unconscious Dariel into their house and doctored him. After that, Dariel learned from Malika's father that the village will soon die out as no new villagers have moved in since the demons seized the mithril mine near the village. In doing so, the humans have often tried to retake the mithril mine, but they always lose the battle against the demons. The sad looks of Malika and her father caused him to do something and he decided to make his way to the mithril mine, which he knew quite well. Since he was in charge of the mithril mine back in the days when he was part of the demon army. So Dariel sneaked into the mithril mine and met the knockers, who admired Dariel very much. All the knockers hugged him and they treated him like a superstar. Because they told Dariel how horribly they are treated, Dariel also learned that Bash Barza is behind that and the knockers work non-stop and have been enslaved since Dariel is gone. Dariel thought the knockers situation sad and wanted to help them, then demon army soldiers appeared and Dariel was hiding. The new commander in charge of the mithril mine kept asking for more, so one knocker attacked the commander and the others rioted. After that, the commander ordered the demon army to kill the knockers. This is how the demons prepared their spells, but Dariel protected them. Before the fight started, Dariel noticed that he was using a knocker's panties as a mask. Then Dariel activated his aura abilities and the demons prepared their spells. Suddenly, a knocker tried to help Dariel fight, as a result Dariel noticed that the soldiers didn't really mean to kill the knockers either, because they were reluctant to seriously hurt the knockers. So Dariel decided to only incapacitate the demon soldiers since they only do their leader's command. Then the leader of the demon army ordered the soldiers to prepare their spells and Dariel attacked the demons one by one with the before they could activate her spells. So Dariel fought the demons and disabled them all one by one so that all he had to do was defeat the commander. When the commander tried to hit Dariel with a spell, Dariel blocked his attack and disabled him. Then Dariel found out that the guy didn't even belong to the demon army, but he got the position as commander, because the demon general Bash Barza found him funny. Dariel spared him and taught him a lesson by cutting his hair off with his sword. After that, the commander ran away and the demon soldiers also leave the mithril mine peacefully. The knockers rejoiced that Dariel saved them from the commanders and swore eternal allegiance to him. Dariel was surprised by the knocker's decision, so he returned to Lux village and reported to the guildmaster about the capture of the mithril mine. The guildmaster couldn't believe it and Dariel asked that the knockers be allowed to continue working in the mithril mine. Since then, the mithril mine has been back in human hands and more humans have lived in Lux village. Dariel increased the population of their village, which made the guildmaster happy. Then when Malika went to bring him lunch, she tripped. Dariel caught her, that made Malika so happy that she hugged him and Dariel almost died again of her strength. Then Zebiant was seen visiting Bash Barza, who had built a super bomb powered by mithril stone. He wanted to use the many mithril mines to mass produce his bomb, but Zebiant told him that the humans are now in possession of the mithril mine. Also, he received a complaint from the demon king and Zebiant told him to show up to the demon king immediately. When Bash Barza was with the Demon King, he called him stupid for enslaving the knockers and making them trouble all the time, but he didn't care too much about the mithril mine. The Demon King was rather angry that he was building the super bombs even though he had forbidden Bash Barza to do so. The Demon King wanted an apology and Bash Barza apologized. After that, the Demon King said that such a stupid general needed Dariel's support. Since Dariel had always helped Babarza's father out when he was one of the four generals and his father was the strongest of the four generals through Dariel. After that, Bash Barza freaked out because even the demon king respects and admires Dariel. Then in the village of Lux, Dariel and Malika were talking about the future, while she was flirting with Dariel, saying that she will also be a good wife. But the naive Dariel did not understand that she meant to be good to him. So Malika tried to confess her love to Dariel, 
but her confession was interrupted because Gushita got involved in an argument. He then tried to resolve the dispute, but the arrogant adventurer Fit Bitten from Campbell Village insulted the two because he had a higher adventurer rank. Then Gashida boasted about Daryl defeating the Deathside and Fitban got angry because everyone celebrates Daryl. After that, Daryl was approached by best friend someone of the Center Guild. He was having trouble with the knockers in the Mithril Mines as they wouldn't talk to anyone but Daryl. So they went to the knockers and Daryl said the knockers can trust best friend. The knockers immediately listened to Daryl and best friend was just shocked that it was so easy. After that, a voice appeared through a spell cast by the demon army. Daryl knew the voice and sought the person. When Daryl found the demons, Rizit used a water spell to chase the enemy away. But when his friend Rizit realized that it was his friend Daryl, he stopped his spell and hugged Daryl, he was very happy to see him. Then Daryl told his friend Rizit that he is a human and Rizit told him that without Daryl the demon army has problems everywhere. Rizit asked Daryl to rejoin the demon army again, because one of the four generals Daroya also wanted Daryl back because she was looking for him all the time. But Daryl turned down the offer because he found people who are important to him. Then Rizit tried to force Daryl back since he misses his best friend at work. So Daryl fended off the attack and offered him the solution to buy Mithril from the humans, because that would solve the problem of the demons and he could continue working with Daryl. They then met with best friend, who liked the idea since the demons would pay four times the normal price for the Mithril rock and there would be no war between the two parties. But the adventurer Fit Bitten didn't want to accept it and tried to attack Rizit. So Daryl fended off his protected Rizit and Best Red also got angry with the adventurer and yelled at Fit Bitten that he has no right to interfere with the political cooperation. Then there was a collaboration between demons and humans, which pleased Daryl, since he was raised by the demon Grand Barza as a baby and without him he would certainly have died. The next day, Daryl was given the task of building a mithril forge in the village of Lux. So Daryl went to doing a quest for his village. Daryl is in the village of Campbell and he is supposed to see a forge so they can produce mithril weapons in their own village. Unfortunately, Fitban shows up and he refuses Daryl to visit their forge, because Fitban hates Daryl and tries to claim Daryl's job for himself. So Daryl returns to his village and reports the problem to the guildmaster. The guildmaster suspects that they don't want to help Lux village since mithril mines are very profitable. Then Malika appeared, she told Daryl, that an old man groped her by her big machis. Arrived at the old man, he was already knocked out, because of Malika. Then he didn't understand why Malika was making such a fuss. Suddenly the old man wanted to feel Daryl's hands. He could immediately see that Daryl's aura is at maximum for all four types. The man was pleased to have met a person like Daryl and introduced himself as Smith, the Mithril Smith Master. He has come to Lux village with his student to forge Mithril. Then we see them all together in the guild house and Malika didn't believe the man to be a well-known blacksmith. Smith showed his order as proof that he was sent by the center guild and he immediately wanted to forge Mithril. Daryl then explained the problem with Fitban and Smith offered to take care of the problem. So they went to the village of Campbell and Smith begged Fitban to let him into his forge. Smith begged until Fitban gave up and he managed to get permission to forge Mithril in their village. This is how Daryl learned what a mithril forge looks like and that mithril is very difficult to process. Then Smith forged a weapon and he showed off his skills to everyone, so he made a perfect mithril sword and he gave the sword to Daryl. Daryl was allowed to test the mithril sword. So Daryl concentrated his aura into the mithril sword and with that sword, he cut up a large tree easily. When Daryl cut up the tree, Fitban also recognized Smith's skills. He apologized to Smith and asked him to teach them his blacksmith skills, but Smith refused and teased him because Fitban looked down on him beforehand. Smith's rejection made Fitban even more angry with Daryl, and Daryl didn't know why Fitban blamed him for the rejection. After that, on the way to Lux village, Smith asked Daryl for his sword and he told Daryl that the sword doesn't fit him. He told Daryl about his dream, that he has a dream to make the best mithril weapon in the world and he chose Daryl as the user of the weapon. Daryl wondered how Smith would manage without Mithril and a forge, so Smith unwrapped a piece of Mithril he had secretly taken with him. Then Smith showed a magical furnace that his student was transported, unfortunately it was a furnace that needed magical power for energy. Daryl asked his demon friend Rizit for help, he appeared and wanted to help Daryl with it. This allowed Smith to fulfill his dream of creating the best Mithril weapon just for Daryl. Rizit then filled the magic furnace with magic and Smith asked Daryl if he could bring him some liquor. Daryl went to get some liquor and he met Fitban on his way. 
Fitban told Dariel that the Center Guild are scammers because even though Dariel conquered the Mithril Mine, most of the profits went to the Center Guild. So Dariel was offered to ally with the village of Campbell and fight against the Center Guild. Dariel declined his offer as he is loyal and cannot forgive Fitban for being so mean to his friends. So Fitban threw a gauntlet at him and Dariel didn't realize that he challenged him to a duel. As a result Dariel picked up the gauntlet and handed it back to Fitban. After that, Dariel learned that he had accepted a duel challenge. He also learned that in duels it is legal to kill their opponent. Everyone was worried and Smith taught him to fight with his new mithril weapon. The next day, Dariel duel with Fitban started. Fitban proudly displayed his mithril weapons. He smiled at Dariel's mithril dagger and Dariel ignored Fitban's provocations and simply focused his aura into his mithril dagger. Then Dariel started attacking and Fitban still underestimated Dariel. So the two fought each other and Dariel was able to change the shape of the mithril weapon with his aura. Dariel repelled all of Fitban's attacks and destroyed all of Fitban's mithril weapons. When Dariel destroyed all of Fitban's weapons, Fitban unwrapped another longsword. He then charged wildly at Dariel and Dariel defeated him with a whip. Dariel threw Fitban away into a house and he won his duel. The next day Best Fred showed up and he apologized to Dariel and he promised Dariel to punish Fitban and his village for causing problems. Suddenly Dariel asked if he could decide a punishment and he decided that they should just only repair the house that was destroyed during their fight. Best Fred was surprised at Dariel's good nature and offered him to join the center guild. Then in the sauna, Dariel considered the offer and was deep in thought. Suddenly Malika appeared and sat down next to Dariel. Dariel mistook her for Gashita, so he unintentionally groped Malika's big machis and he wondered why he felt big and soft machis in his hand. When Dariel realized it was Malika's boobs, he didn't know what he should say in such a moment. He thought he was going to die now and couldn't think straight anymore. Malika didn't mind because she was in love with Dariel and she told her that she knew about his offer. She thought that Dariel would accept the offer and thanked him for doing so much for Lux Village. She also wished him to success in his new path and said that everyone will always support him. Dariel immediately knew that Malika didn't show his true intentions and he replied that he declined the offer. He said that Malika and the villagers gave him so much when he had nothing and with their help he was very happy. Then Dariel confessed his feelings for Malika and he kissed Malika in that moment. Then we saw Bash Barza and his father Grand Barza, Grand Barza creating a big fireball and was waiting for his son. He wanted to eat with Bash Barza and at their dinner, he asked him about Dariel, if he works together with Dariel. His son lied to him and said he got along well with Dariel. Suddenly, Grand Barza attacked him because he heard from demon army soldiers that Dariel isn't anymore in the demon army. Then Grand Barza asked why he and the other general fired his precious Dariel from the demon army. He also wanted his son to beg Dariel to come back. So Bas Barza got angry and he said that even without Dariel, he will be successful, then he left his father's castle. Subsequently, his father wondered why his son does not get along with Dariel and he was also worried about Dariel and would have liked to know what he is doing at the moment. Dariel spent the night with Malika and his mother tried to wake Malika up so she find out that they were having fun together at night. Later on Dariel fell on the stairs because he had no more energy left after the night with Malika. As they ate breakfast, Dariel worried that Malika's parents were noticing their relationship. Dariel was nervous all day because of his night with Malika, but Malika's father suspected nothing. When Dariel was helping to hang up the laundry, the mother confronted Dariel about it, and he realized that Malika's mother already knew about his relationship with Malika. After that, Malika's father showed up again. Dariel thought he already knew about the relationship between them two. As a result Dariel decided to ask his permission to marry Malika. Malika's father was surprised and immediately gave them permission. So Dariel asked Malika if she would like to marry him and Malika jumped into his arms that Dariel almost died. Malika broke a door and Dariel used his aura and took her in his arms, so Malika and Dariel got married. After a year, the village of Lux has also grown significantly, because the mithril processing was a great success. He then thanked Smith at his grave for giving them his advice and his help to Dariel and the village of Lux. When Dariel returned to the village, Malika was already waiting with his son to see Dariel. His son was named Gran, he was named after the man who raised Dariel and took care of him in his past. Then Gashida went to see Dariel and told him that heroes are coming to the village soon. Dariel once faced the hero, when he was still part of the demon army. So Dariel masked his face and Dariel was ready to fight him if they wanted to attack him. When the group of heroes appeared, 
Daryl was confused, because the current hero is a young woman. She was the new heroine named Lady, and she was accompanied by two persons. Then Lady told Daryl that the old hero is retired, and she is his successor. Daryl was calmed and showed his face, meanwhile Lady was angry with Daryl, thinking that his weird acting is due to his prejudice against women. Daryl said sorry and told her that it's a misunderstanding and he also hid behind Gashita in fear of her. After that, Daryl learned that the group of heroes wanted to have a mithril weapon made in the village of Lux. When they arrived at the guild house, Malika greeted Lady and in the process Daryl found out that Lady likes children. She really wanted to hold Gran in her arms and Gran liked it too. He grabbed her soft machis and played with them. Daryl wasn't surprised because that was a proof that Gran had the same preferences for soft machis and is definitely his son. The next morning, Daryl was visiting Lady, who was still half asleep. As she realized that Daryl is in front of her face, she then changed her clothes. Afterward she wanted that Daryl show her the mithril weapons in their village Lux. Then they went together to the mithril forge and Daryl showed them the function of the mithril weapons that are made in the forge. When Daryl showed a sword, Lady's friends tested it and Lady got jealous at being left out. For this reason, Daryl asked the blacksmith Sakai to create a special weapon for Lady. Sakai mistook the heroine, he thought the hero was a man. When the misunderstanding was cleared up, he touched Lady's hands to determine her aura type. After that, Lady said they were looking for another member for their hero party. Meanwhile, Gashita appeared, he wanted to take care of their concerns. As a result in the village of Lux, a member was sought for Lady's group and everyone was allowed to participate. The contestants had to fight against the hero party and Lady and her friends got a handicap, but they didn't use weapons to keep it fair. Then all contestants attempted to be selected as the fourth member, but they were all instantly defeated and Lady was disappointed. Suddenly, Gashita shot against Lady with an arrow, he hit on a tree and Gashita urges Lady to get serious. As Lady started to use her full power against Gashita, Daryl stopped her attack with an apple. Gashita was sad that he lost and was disqualified at the competition. Then Daryl cheered him up as he has become really strong since the last year. After that, Lady challenged Daryl to a fight because she sensed a strong aura from Daryl. Daryl refused by being a retired adventurer, but Lady couldn't accept it and she attacked him with her sword. So Daryl had no choice and he fought against Lady, he fended off all of Lady's attacks, as a result a mountain was split up. Lady was impressed by Daryl and she wanted to unleash her full power, Daryl recognized the attack and he countered with the same attack. Lady was very impressed by Daryl's enormous power and she couldn't believe it. She then asked Daryl to join her group and Daryl politely declined, because he had to feed his son. Then he fed his dear son Gran and Lady showed up trying to persuade him to join her group. Daryl told her his reasons for not being able to leave his family and that as the head of the village he has to help many people. The next day Lady stalked him to find a way to change his decision. She first saw him cheering up the blacksmith Sakai that have emotional issues. After that, Daryl helped his father-in-law clean the guild house and Lady saw how many other villagers he had helped. At the end of the day, she understood why Daryl couldn't join her group of heroes, but she didn't give up. Then Lady asked Daryl how he could use the same technique like her, also his attack was even stronger than hers. The reason behind the question was, that the previous hero Arancel was the only one who mastered this technique perfectly. She told him that the attack named Emperor Sky Rend isn't an ordinary technique that anyone could use. When Daryl found out all of this he was amazed himself. As the previous hero used it all the time, that making Daryl think it was an easy technique. Daryl then replied that he had learned it instinctively, as a result Lady attacked him. The reason was she wanted to make him aware that, he has a strength, that must be used by fighting against evil demons. Then Daryl tried to change her mind, telling her that the demons have no evil intentions and they only defend themselves against humans to protect their families. Followed then, Daryl managed to change her mind and Lady wanted to become Daryl's student to get so many power like him, so Daryl became Lady's new teacher. The next day, Rizit visited Daryl and he was accidentally spotted by the demon general Zebiantas. Rizit brought presents to Daryl and played with his son Gran. Then Rizit was telling about his promotion in the demon army, and Zebiantas was showed up. After her appearing she used Rizit as her chair, because Daroya was looking for Daryl everywhere and he didn't tell her about Daryl's whereabouts. Then Malika brought drinks for the guests and at that moment Zebiantas disrespected Daryl. Zebiantas' condescending tone towards her husband made Malika very angry. As a result Malika showed her bloodlust and Zebiantas was intimidated by Malika. 
She was asked to find a regular chair, then Zebiantis said she came because she would like a mithril weapon. Suddenly she became disrespectful again to Dariel and she ordered Dariel to give her all of their mithril. Dariel refused and Zebiantis wanted to cause trouble, but Malika prevented it and intimidated her again. Zebiantis was shaking with fear and Dariel asked if she wanted to go outside. Once outside, Zebiantis attacked Dariel because she was angry against him that his wife threatened her. Dariel tried to calm her down and fought against her. Zebiantis underestimated Dariel and she was instantly overwhelmed by his enormous power. She didn't want to accept her loss, so Dariel had to fight her several times and he always won. Then Zebiantis created a storm that would destroy the village and Dariel used his Emperor Sky Rend attack to stop them. His attack neutralized the storm and followed, then Dariel saved the falling Zebiantis. Also Rizit helped him and caught the two with a water spell. When Zebiantis was rescued, Dariel realized that he unintentionally removed her underwear. The demon general started crying and said she would snitch the underwear accident her wife Malika. Dariel apologized and in return, he offered to sell her mithril for a cheap price, as a result she accepted Dariel's offer to buy the mithril. Afterwards, she is introduced to the blacksmith Sakai and he employed her. Shortly thereafter, the hero's party appeared and Dariel tried to distract them, because he didn't want them to meet the demon general Zebiantas. Despite Dariel's best efforts to keep them apart, the two met that in the evening. They both had the idea to visit the sauna to relaxing and as a result the both enemies made problems. When Dariel realized that the two of them met in the sauna, Dariel stormed into the sauna. He grabbed their soft machis unintentionally and Dariel got a slap in the face from both of them. Then the misunderstanding was cleared up and Malika brought them dinner. After that lady wanted to know why there is a demon general in Lux village. Dariel then told his secret that he grew up as a human among the demons. Everyone was surprised except Malika because Dariel told her his secret before their wedding. Zebiantas didn't mind that Dariel was human, but the problem with Lady and Zebiantas wasn't solved. Then Malika showed up, she scolded them that they shouldn't fighting by dinner. So the two decided to duel against each other the next day. Then Dariel demanded of the two that the winner aren't allowed to kill the loser. On the next day, when Lady and Dariel's friends showed up to witness the two women's fight, they discovered a suffered Sakai. He was forced by the two to work through the night, that they each have a powerful mithril weapon. Then both fought each other and they were equals. Suddenly Malika appeared, bringing Dariel his lunch. Lady then deflected Zebianta's attack and she kicked her opponent to the ground. She didn't harm any damage and then followed, Zebianta's cast a strong wind spell and Lady prepared a counterattack against her. The two attacks collided and the sleeping Gran woke up. Immediately Gran saw their big boobs and so he wanted to go to them and jumped out of Malika's arm. Suddenly a mountain collapsed, Lady protected Gran together with Zebiantas. The two were glad that nothing happened to the baby Gran, as a result thanks to Gran the two stopped their fight. Suddenly they became friends and they started to could laugh with each other. The next day, the previous hero Arancel appeared, Daniel recognized the dangerous man immediately. Then Zebiantas showed up and Daniel feared Zebiantas wouldn't make it home alive. He told her that Arancel even survived Grand Barza's attack. Then Dariel claimed that Arancel is a killing machine and suddenly a little girl appeared. Dariel wanted to save her, but there was no reason as he has a nice side against humans. All the children loved the previous hero and also the other villagers loved him. Afterwards, Arancel thanked Dariel for taking good care of Lady, also that he teaching her many new fight moves. After that, Arancel wanted to see the result of Lady's training with Dariel, and Dariel wanted to lead him to Village Lux Trainings Hall. Suddenly he felt a presence and he pointed to Gashita, who was outside Dariel's window. Arriving at the training hall, Gashita admired his role model Dariel, so Dariel told him to watch the Battle of the Heroes. Lady then attacked Arancel and he deflected all of her attacks, while still signing autographs to his fans. Dariel noticed that Arancel was only playing with Lady and the hero noticed that Lady's swordsmanship was getting better. Subsequently, Arancel learned that Dariel is stronger than her and he challenged Dariel to a fight. Dariel refused the fight and everyone slandered Dariel that he didn't stand a chance against the former hero Arancel. Gashita then became sad and said that his big brother Dariel was the strongest. He didn't want to disappoint Gashita so Dariel takes on Arancel in a battle and he immediately felt the dangerous aura of Arancel. His murderous thirst was so terrifying that Dariel got scared. Dariel suggested to have lunch first since they can't fight on an empty stomach. Dariel and Arancel then had lunch, he was delighted with Malika's homemade packed lunch. 
Meanwhile, Zebiantas unintentionally used magic and Arancel since the magic energy. His aura changed instantly, and he wanted to kill Zebiantas. When Arancel wanted to kill the demon general, Dariel protected her with his weapon. Dariel was ready to fight against the former hero, he knew how dangerous Arancel, because Grand Barza always protected him from him in the past. Then Arancel attacked, he decided to kill Dariel too since he is trying to protect Zebiantas, who is a demon. Dariel narrowly managed to fend off all Arancel's attacks. During their fight, he could feel Dariel's enormous power, as a result, he decided to get serious. So both fighters used the attack Emperor Skyrend, which collided with each other. Dariel lost the fight as the previous hero was much stronger as him and Lady tried to stop him, but she was powerless against him. Before attempting to kill his opponent, Arancel asked why Dariel was protecting a demon. Dariel replied, because he doesn't want humans or demons to get hurt and he told him his secret. Meanwhile, Grand Barza was seen asking to the demon king that he should fire his son from the demon army. The reason was, his own son only causes problems for the demon army and he didn't do his duties as a demon general. As a result Daroya took care of everything of his son's work. The demon king didn't entirely believe Grand Barza, he suspecting that he was also angry, because his own son had fired Dariel from the demon army. Then Grand Barza remembered the day he found Dariel as a baby. He raised him, because he couldn't abandon a baby and let him die. He then replied that he considered them both as his sons. Suddenly the demon king said he knew where Dariel is and he reveals Dariel's whereabouts. Meanwhile, Arancel also learned about Dariel's past, that he was raised by the demon general Grand Barza. When Dariel reveals his age, Arancel realizes that Dariel is his biological son. The reason was that 33 years ago his wife was killed by demons and his son's body had disappeared without a trace. Suddenly, Arancel sensed a strong aura of Grand Barza and he fired an attack against him, but Grand Barza cast a spell to defend himself. After that he was looking for his treasure Dariel. However, Grand Barza appeared and the two enemies met each other again. Followed then, they immediately wanted to fight against each other. Dariel tried to stop them and asked Arancel for permission to solve the problem. Afterwards, Grand Barza said that he found out about his biological father Arancel short time before he was on the to the village Lux, but the secret that Dariel is a human is another case, because he knew that since he was a lit child. He became aware of it when Dariel was five years old and he couldn't use magic, after this incident he started investigating. He then apologized for not telling him the truth, because he loved Dariel like a son. Dariel didn't want an apologize from him, because he was grateful to Grand Barza for raising and protecting him every time. Grand Barza happily accepted his words, saying that it was only through spending time with Dariel that he became a strong warrior. He told him that Dariel was his pride and treasure and the words made Arancel angry. The reason was he couldn't see his son growing up that made him very mad and he was also frustrated that the demon stole Dariel in his past. Grand Barza understood his resentment and he wanted to take all the blame and decided that Arancel should unload his anger on him. Then the two wanted to fight each other and Dariel didn't know how to stop them. Suddenly Malika appeared, she stopped them both by telling them about her grandson Gran. She introduced them to baby Gran and said that they are both baby Gran's grandpa. Then Dariel encouraged Arancel that he cannot experience Dariel's childhood, but he can see his grandson grow up. When Arancel took Gran in his arms, he was able to overcome the grudge against the demons. Then in the demon army we see Barsh Barza, he has a celebration planned for himself. A servant told him that no one is coming to his party as the demon king plans to fire him from the demon army at his father's request. The reason was he caused many problems as a demon general and he was informed by his servant that his incompetence could be prevented by Dariel. Listening that he was fired, Barsh Barza ordered that a cook should bring him wine. He refused his order because Barsh Barza still had bills to pay and they hadn't received any payment from him since Dariel was fired. Dariel's name disappointed Barsh Barza and he lost his mind that he wanted to go after Dariel to kill him. So Barsh Barza was on the way so fine Dariel to eliminate him with his enormous power. Meanwhile, the grandpas were playing with Grand, while the two were arguing about Grand's name. Then baby Grand started crying and Dariel got a call from his friend Rizit. Suddenly Grand wanted to chat with Rizit and he complained that men with beards were harassing him. Rizit could understand the baby language of Grand, so this is how Rizit wanted to intimidate the two strongest warriors on the phone and telling them they couldn't annoy Grand. When Rizit realized he was threatening Grand Barza, Dariel felt sorry for not warning him first. In the evening, Dariel learned that his father-in-law's name was Emil and he was intimidated by Dariel's two fathers. 
Afterwards, Grand Barza reminisced about Dariel and Arancil thanked Grand Barza for lovingly raising Dariel to a good man. In the evening Malika treated Dariel, because he had many injuries from the fight against his father Arancil. After that she went to do the dishes and she gave her a dessert that he could enjoy. Then Zebianta showed up, she thanked Dariel for protecting her and she teased him a bit. The next morning, Lady wanted to be trained by Arancil. So Dariel asked why she still wanted to fight against the Demon King. Arancil explained to Dariel that there is a myth about the Demon King, that he is the origin of demon's magic. People believe that by subduing the Demon King they can gain his great power. Granbarza then told that the demons have a similar legend and it might be true since the current Demon King is still the first generation Demon King. Lady decided to continue to follow her path because she wanted to find her own answer as to whether fighting the demons is justified. After that, Gashida showed up with Fitban, they reported that problems had arisen at the Mithril Mine. Dariel set off and asked Zebiantas to use her magic to take them there as soon as possible. Arrived at the Mithril Mine, they discovered a monster that was out of control and he causing damage everywhere. Dariel decided to save the knockers in the mine and the others wanted to stop the monster in the meantime. Followed Dariel was on his way to save the knockers in the Mithril Mine. Dariel was on his way to save the knockers, Arancil accompanied him on the way to the Mithril Mine. In the meantime Grand Barza fought with the others against the magical flame beast Salamandra. Lady charged with his group at the flame beast and they were assisted by Zebiantas. So they attacked him but unfortunately, the hero's attacks didn't work and the Salamandra attacked with his fire breath. When it became dangerous for Lady and her group, they were helped by Grand Barza, who absorbed the magical flame beast attack. Meanwhile, Dariel reached the knockers and the Salamandra flew to them, so Dariel and Arancil combined their attack Emperor Sky ran against him. Dariel was able to push the Salamandra with his father back, but the Salamandra tried to intimidate Dariel. Then Dariel stopped in front of the Salamandra and he was able to drive the Salamandra away. As the Salamandra flew away, Dariel felt a familiar feeling from the Salamandra. Suddenly Grand Barza wanted to go back to the Demon Palace and said goodbye to Dariel. Grand Barza flew away with Zebiantas and Dariel rushed to the Knockers' rescue. The Knockers were happy that Dariel was able to save them safely and his friends came to reinforce. Then Dariel heard that one person was missing and he went to the Mithril Mine to look of the missing person. Meanwhile, Grand Barza met his son and asked him if he was in the secret chamber in the Demon Palace. Barsh Barza lies to his father, and he immediately became angry. Then Barsh Barza admitted that he was in the secret chamber and Zebiantas learned about the room in the Demon Castle where many forbidden spells are stored there since a long time ago. Grand Barza noticed that he was learning forbidden spells and was saddened that his son would engage in such trouble, despite the fact that unlike Dariel, he was gifted with a great deal of talent as a child. Barsh Barza got angry with his father because he was jealous of Dariel. Then Grand Barza attacked his son to teach him a lesson. Suddenly, Barsh Barza summoned the Salamandra and he was on his way to kill Dariel. When Dariel was with the knockers looking for a missing person in the Mithril Mine, the earth giant Gegantamaki appeared. Dariel wanted to run away, but he learned that earth giant was a friend of the Salamandra and he told him that the Salamandra is being controlled by someone. Followed then, Dariel was to show him his mithril sword, so Gegantamaki was impressed by Dariel's beautiful sword. He removed the limitations of his mithril sword and Dariel gained a power up from the earth giant. After that, Dariel got his mithril sword back and he was told that soon the village of Lux will turn into a battlefield. Then the earth giant disappeared and the missing person was found. Suddenly Grand Barza called him and he told him about Barsh Barza, who was on his way with the Salamandra. Following this, Dariel made his way back to his village and he evacuated the villagers. After that Malika gifted him a ring and he then said goodbye to Malika and his son Gran, who wished him good luck in his fight to protect everyone. When Barsh Barza appeared, he used a powerful spell and created a huge fireball. Arancil immediately recognized that he mastered the strongest technique of his father. Then Barsh Barza talked about the loneliness he developed since childhood and he blamed Dariel for causing his loneliness. However, Barsh Barza threatened that he will bring him into despair and he will first kill Malika and then burn down his beloved village to get his revenge against him. Dariel couldn't allow it and he decided to fight against Barsh Barza. Dariel attacked the Salamandra with his mithril weapon and Zebiantas supported him. After that he separated Barsh Barza from the magical fire beast and he faced him by a one versus one fight. At first Dariel thought Barsh Barza was angry with him because of the mithril mine, but that wasn't the reason. Barsh Barza want glory and also end the war by wiping out all humans. 
The two then began fighting each other and Barsh Barza used his newfound power to push Daryl back. When Barsh Barza had the chance, he used a powerful attack and was able to overwhelm Daryl. So Daryl was overwhelmed and he noticed that Barsh Barza has become much stronger than before. Following this, Daryl found out about the training trip from Barsh Barza where he obtained the magical fire beast. Suddenly Daryl praised him, knowing how hardworking and talented Barsh Barza always was. Daryl's kind words infuriated Barsh Barza and he wanted to kill Daryl. Then Daryl remembered that his friends and family are waiting for him, so he used his Emperor Sky Rend against Barsh Barza. As a result Daryl was able to corner Barsh Barza and he got angry and he was showing his trump. He intended to finally destroy Daryl with his new power. The group of heroes got their defenses strengthened and Gashida attacked the Salamandra with all his power. The magical fire beast was being attacked by arrows, and Arancel loved the fact that he can now fight the Salamandra alongside Grand Barza. So humans and demons fought together against the magical fire beast. Arancel immediately attacked and was supported by Grand Barza with powerful fire attacks. Then we see Barsh Barza in his new form, he activated a forbidden spell and attacked Daryl. Barsh Barza attacked Daryl and he was furious that Daryl was talentless and he always had a smile on his face by seeing everyone. Followed then Daryl tried to defend himself and said he didn't want to fight against him. Barsh Barza didn't want to hear him and he used his most powerful attack against Daryl. Daryl knew the danger of his attack and he unleashed all his powers, so he was able to create a powerful attack with his mithril weapon. Daryl then attacked Barsh Barza and he was able to withstand his Daryl's powerful attack. Followed Daryl couldn't believe as Barsh Barza's forbidden spell has evolved. However, Barsh Barza was transformed into a magical beast that immediately attacked Daryl with all his power. Daryl had to take the strong attacks and he tried to survive with all his strength. When Daryl was cornered, he tried to talk to Barsh Barza and said that he should not cause their father any more grief. Barsh Barza said he aren't allowed to call Grand Barza his father. Then Daryl sees memories of Barsh Barza, who was very happy with his family as a child. Daryl realized that he was conveying the feelings from Barsh Barza, so he saw how Barsh Barza met Daryl for the first time. Daryl saw Barsh Barza trying to establish a relationship with his father, but his father only had eyes for Daryl. Following Barsh Barza was always lonely and no one supported him. Daryl couldn't believe he never noticed his loneliness. So Daryl then tried to share his feelings too. Followed he apologized to Barsh Barza for never realizing his loneliness. Then Daryl managed to show him his own feelings, because he was always unsure whether he belonged to the family. Barsh Barza learned that Daryl only smiled because he was trying not to be a burden to their family. He also learned that Daryl only became happy when he met him, because on that day he had a new family. Understanding Daryl's feelings, Barsh Barza couldn't believe that Daryl always treated him like a brother and he simply rejected his kindness by himself. Barsh Barza released his spell and he wanted to forgive Daryl. Suddenly he lost control of the Salamandra and Grand Barza noticed his son breaking the forbidden spell. The Salamandra was out of control and he wanted to kill everyone. Barsh Barza wanted to save everyone and he fused with the Salamandra so he could control the Salamandra. He wanted to sacrifice his life and save them all, but Grand Barza stopped the Salamandra on the way. Daryl managed to attack and defeat the magical fire beast. In this moment Barsh Barza could feel his father's love to him and he said sorry to him. So the fight ended and Malika prepared a feast for Daryl's return. Malika heard Daryl's voice outside and she immediately rushed to him, Daryl being overwhelmed by her. She hugged him and his back was broken again. Then we see Barsh Barza with the demon king in his palace. He was offered to choose between going to hell as punishment or starting over as a demon general. Barsh Barza wanted to atone for his sins and he chose to go to the hell. However, he passed the Demon King's test, as he would have chosen the first option, he had been sent to hell by the Demon King. The Demon King decided against sending him to hell and fired Barsh Barza from the Demon Army and banished him from his realm. Barsh Barza was not angry and he was invited to Daryl home with his father. Then we see Lady telling Barsh Barza that he hurt a lot of people and Barsh Barza apologized for his actions. Suddenly, Daryl's son Gran woke up. He spotted Barsh Barza and immediately wanted to be held in his arms. Gran met Barsh Barza and he was delighted to meet Daryl's son. Then Barsh Barza said that he will make amends for his crimes as he doesn't want to disappoint his brother Daryl and Gashida introduced himself to his number two brother. Lady forgives him since he apologized and wanted to make amends. After that, Gashida painted a picture of Daryl together with Barsh Barza and they became one big family.
Barsh Barza was happy with his new family and they celebrated the reconciliation. The next morning, Barsh Barza decided to travel and make amends for his crimes.